Hi guys, I welcome you all to EduTap and here is the Agriculture Current Affairs series for NABAD Grade A and IBPSAFO 2019. Now, through this series, we are aiming to cover the current affairs which are related to agriculture and rural development uh, right from the month of January and uh, since we have covered all the months till July, so this is the, this particular lecture is about the August month and uh, let me just tell you that this particular series is now important for the NABAD exam as well because usually they ask questions from the past six months and since we have covered January to July maybe they, those were not that much important for NABAD exam but now from August it will be important for both these exams let me just quickly tell you about our courses and uh, so that you can just have a look what what courses are important for you so first of all we have NABAD grade A for 2019 examination now this has this examination has a very core component in phase 1 and phase 2 both is agriculture now this is covered through our courses and this will be covered through this particular lecture also and another is the IBPS AFO we are offering a test series for this examination and it agriculture again is a co core component here in phase 2 and here is the list of various other courses which are offered by us which are helpful for RBI, SEBI and NABAD as well you can just have a look at them okay so starting on with the agriculture and rural development current affairs for the month of august let us just start and since this is part one so we'll be coming up with another video lecture under this august month only so that entire august month is covered in part one as well as part two so let us just proceed to our first news okay now this is important first news itself very important here restructuring of the asrb now see agricultural scientist re recruitment board is important and now this restructuring has been done so as to make it more effective and uh, the uh, working can be made more easier so asrb will now be a four member body now earlier it was three member body now it will have a chairperson and three other members and the appointment would come for a period of three years or till the age of 65 years of the members and also through uh, through this particular step they uh, the government is uh, trying to provide the autonomy and accountability to asrb and delinking it from the icar that is indian council of agricultural research and to attach it to the dare that is department of agriculture research and education now this dare department is under it functions under the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare so, so you see government is trying to delink it from icar and put it under the dare which is under the Minister of Agriculture Farmers Welfare and a budget has also been uh, dealing from ICAR and created under DARE now this is important because instead of ICAR DARE has been given importance regarding ASRB so let us just quickly see about this ASRB uh, this board was established in 1973 1st November 1973 1st November is important you need to keep in mind and it was established on the recommendation of a committee the committee was Gajendra Gadkar committee now this again committee is important so it was set up uh, uh, to function as an independent recruitment agency which is its mandate till now and it conducts net examination UGC net so that uh, the scientist post can be recruited for this ICR and DARE so yes that would be it about ASRB let us just move on to our next news okay this is about Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sanchai Yojana now this particular Yojana is itself important and we are going to cover this particular Yojana in a separate video and uh, let us see just what this news entails for us so the government NABAD and NWDA that is National Water Development Agency have revised their memorandum and revised it to 99 projects so this is important since three stakeholders are involved here you need to keep in mind government of india nabad and nwda so they are going to uh, fund the 99 irrigation projects under this pradhan mantri krishi sanchai yojana through long term irrigation funds so there are short term and long term irrigation funds this particular mou is about the long term irrigation funds so uh, central assistance would be provided and NABAD body is itself important here and secondly I would just like you tell, uh, to tell you is that you keep in mind that in India there is 
200.8 million hectares of agricultural land but only 48% of this land is irrigated so the rest uh, land is dependent on the monsoon so now government is trying to decrease this dependency on monsoon or the climate adversaries so that it is irrigated well and the, there are various projects which are, be, are being run by government so uh, this is the background of this particular news now this is again important rajasthan has become the first state to implement the biofuel policy since an, uh, the na the national government has implemented its biofuel policy recently so now the state has also started to uh, implement their own policy so rajasthan has become the first state to do so and uh, with this policy they are trying to emphasize on the increased production of oil seeds since oil seeds is a very compatible production uh, crop for the uh, desert area which is there in Rajasthan as it is not that water guzzling not that and that much irrigation is required and also a center for excellence to promote the uh, research in the field of alternative fuels is going to be established in Udaipur so this also you need to keep in mind now this policy is going to help farmers first of all so that they can dispose of their surplus stock in an economic manner and they're not wasted and secondly it will also be helpful for ethanol production now we have discussed about ethanol production in our previous videos as well that it is going to help in the sugarcane juice sugarcane uh, containing material all these will be used in the ethanol production and now oil seeds are also being going to used and also they will encourage the state rural livelihood department is going to encourage women self-help group to come forward and participate in this policy to make it a success and uh, two important points i have mentioned for you here on 10th august 2018 world biofuel day was organized first of all you need to keep this in mind and secondly the india's first ever environment friendly biofuel flight has taken off from Dehradun till Delhi so Dehradun Delhi flight was by Indigo and these are the Jatropha seeds you can see here in the picture so this flight was based on the biofuel and biofuel was extracted from the Jatropha seeds so these are the two important points just keep them in mind and our next news is regarding IFCO now IFCO we have learnt about IFCO a lot there are a lot of news regarding IFCO so I would just like you guys to mention anything important which you are able to recollect now in the comment section below let us see what this news has for us so IFCO has forayed into food processing as well so we have seen IFCO has launched its e-portal then IFCO is a fertilizer giant and now they are going to come up in the food processing industry as well and for this they have formed a joint venture with Spain firm and this through this they are going to establish a food processing plant at Ludhiana in Punjab so this is also important and there are some other important informations like if Co will have 30% stake you can just go through them and the processing of the products like potatoes peas and cauliflower will be done initially and then later on it will be expanded firstly it will be for domestic markets and later on for exports market so this step is going to be a lot of help since ifco is considered as the largest multi cooperative society and our next news is about Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana so we'll discuss about this Yojana in detail in our next slide let us see what this news has for us so Ashish Kumar Bhutani has been appointed as the CEO of Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana first of all just keep this in mind the name Ashish Kumar Bhutani he is a senior bureaucrat and now will be overlooking the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana and he has been appointed till 2020 May 9 and uh, the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana let us just quickly see about this Yojana also it was launched in 2016 by Prime Minister himself as the government is trying to increase and double the farmers income by 2022 so various steps have been taken by the government this is one st such step now this particular Yojana since it is Fasal Bima Yojana so comprehensive insurance cover against the failure of the crop so as to stabilize the income of the farmers now what is apart from this is important you need to keep in mind is that the premium to be paid is just 
टू परसेंट फॉर दी खरीफ क्रॉप एंड वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट फॉर रबी यू मस्ट नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज टू परसेंट फॉर खरीफ वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट फॉर रबी एंड ऑयल सीड्स एंड फाइव परसेंट फॉर दी हॉर्टिकल्चरल ऑल और कमर्शियल क्रॉप सो दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट्स यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड एंड इट विल ऑल्सो प्रॉप द क्लेम सेटलमेंट विद इन विच सेज अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस योजना क्लेम्स मस्ट बी सेटल्ड विद इन टू मंथ्स ऑफ द हॉबेस्ट सो दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना सो दैट्स इट गाइज आई होप दिस सेशन वॉज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू एंड इन केस यू गाइज हैव मिस्ड अर्लियर वीडियोज राइट फ्रॉम द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी आई वुड जस्ट रिकमेंड यू टू गो बैक एंड सी दोज वीडियोज एज वेल एंड इन केस यू गाइज हैव एनी क्वरी रिगार्डिंग द कोर्सेज विच आर ऑफर्ड बाई अस और दी पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्स ऑफ आई बी पी एस ए एफ ओ और नाबार्ड यू कैन जस्ट गो एंड विजिट आर वेबसाइट and here is our email id you can just drop us a mail and our contact number is also mentioned here 8146207241 you can even whatsapp us on this number as per your convenience yes so that's it guys i hope this session was helpful for you if you like this video please do not forget to like subscribe and share our channel and this is the link of the telegram channel you can just go and download the pdf of this particular series and all other lectures as well so that it is helpful for you guys and you can retain it and that's it i will i wish you all a very happy learning